Okay, well, we're back with Uncharted. I wanted to play more Uncharted. We wanted to be explorers, explorers for a while. We're doing this on, we're not doing this on hard. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Love that little emote, that little Christmassy emote. Them gray fix. He's looking a little bit rough. I played this a long time ago, I don't really remember much of it, but I remember having a really good time. I've liked all of the Uncharted games. I never played the- f I haven't played the fourth one yet. Or if I did, I might have started it and only played it once and then kind of forgot about it, so... Pretty stoked about this. Oh, this is about to be difficult. Okay. Oh, look at him go! Look at him go! Oof! Oh, poor guy. I can probably count on half of one hand what games I would play on hard, yeah. I do appreciate that this menu had like six different levels of difficulty. Um, they went so far as to have a crushing level of difficulty. Good for them. Uh... <laughs> and sometimes when I'm by myself, like if I'm, if I am just like, I'll, I'll consider it. Especially a game like this where in, in the past I've been very good at this game. I don't really remember how to play it, but in the past I was, I was doing pretty okay. Oh boy. Uh, and so, like, when I was playing these on my own, I played them on a little bit harder difficulty. But I'm gonna be honest with you, there's just a big difference between what I... The, oh! Oh, damn, there he go. How would that not kill you? I say for the first of many times throughout this gameplay. I used to play on hard all the time. But now I have more money to buy more games. Okay, that's fair. Sometimes it's like a different challenge. Okay, how are we doing? Are we stuck? To the left. Take it back, Niall. Maybe we can grab- Uh-oh! Alright, can I grab that? I can't. Okay, we're gonna keep going to the left. Used to make up hard modes for games I really love, but now I'm like, I wanna have a nice time, <laughs> yeah! You got it, bud. It's kinda nice to, uh, oh shit. It's kind of nice when you can make your own game out of it, though. Like, when you make your own little rules to add to the game. The the, the floor is lava of video game activity. Okay, hold it in... Okay, hold it in the direction we want to go. I prefer that. I don't I don't often like having to swing back and forth. I think we want to go... Can we grab this stuff to the right? No, maybe we want to go left? Okay. You can, you can keep going. Yeah, there you go, bud. This is me, I'd just be like, God, take me to the promised land, I'm ready. Yeah, I don't really feel like I, you know, sometimes I really think I'm a survivor, and then other times I'm like, jeez, would I really want to deal with that? <laughs> is that really what I want to do? I have a hard time getting out of bed most days. <laughs> uh, maybe to the left? Yeah, there we go. Nathan Drake isn't human. Valid. This man is absolutely on another level. They're making the movie, right? Who's playing him? I remember not being very excited about who was playing him. Who was that? Cannot remember. Where are we going? I feel like we're back to square one. Alien creep, the Spider-Man dude, skinny Spider-Man dude. Tom Holland? Tom Holland is playing Nathan Drake? I mean, that certainly is a casting decision. They really decided that. I remember laughing about it to you because I was like, this motherfucker's not buff enough for this. Look, I am... <laughs> he seems like he's probably a nice guy, okay? So, like, this is not about him. <laughs> this is about, you can't just cast anyone to, to do anything, okay? You, there, sometimes there need to be standards. <laughs> he's too baby, yeah. <laughs> but apparently it's supposed to be a younger version of him or something. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't, I don't, I don't see it. Even if it is the younger version. Book it, book it. Ah, he did it. He's got I'm baby disease though. <laughs> oh geez, oh dear. In which he ages, but his face does not. I have this. <laughs> Gonna take your word for it, Mel's. That's hilarious. Oh damn, he's looking a little, a little worse for wear, as it were. Oh, we're flashing back. Okay. 
Does this game have subtitles? I'm pretty sure it does. Who the hell is this? Harry Flynn? I guess that's Harry hey. Flynn. What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. What accent is that? Is that Come here. I've got a British? Job is he British? <laughs> Willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object. Oh yeah, no, the T-shirt. The, the, this game is yet another example of like mid two thousands, frozen in time, just the greatest. You know, if they got the if they got the licensing rights to it, that would be like an Ed Hardy T-shirt. For sure. Did we meet this guy already? I don't remember him from the first game. Actually, right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. Wife. What? Chloe Fraser. Obsessed. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe is one of the best. We immediately understand place. her purpose. This care. dude looks like he's related to him. Related to Nate? It do he does look like that. I've got it all figured out. Chloe's purpose is to be an absolute badass and look incredible while doing it, and I just think that that's great for her. <laughs> Love that for her. This woman wears Ed Hardy. Absolutely. She's, well, I think she's a little bit cooler than he is in that aspect. She's, she's a little bit more, like, rugged cool. I think she's less worried about fashion as, a, as this man appears to be. All these dudes look the same unless they're just the, the token old guys. <laughs> Maybe they are. It's true. There's not a whole lot of variation in in character here, I will say. I think we see our first person of color, like, in the third or fourth game. <laughs> Ambiguously brown and have the same body type. They do, they, they do be looking vascular, that's for sure. They wanted you to see these veins. They should have given Chloe abs. That would have been that would have been a great a great addition. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much. The Marco Polo. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. What does she have like a picnic table cloth wrapped around her arm? Is that supposed to be a bandage, or is that for is that for aesthetics? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's talking about the lost place. No, sure, that's what I thought too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> These character models look better than the new Dark Pictures game. What is Dark Pictures? Girl, you know that's for aesthetics. It is. It could also be for convenience. Maybe if she would need it later, you know. When I was in high school, we weren't allowed to wear jeans that had holes in them anywhere. And uh, my friend had these jeans. The first day I met her, she was wearing these jeans that had a hole in the knee. Didn't I didn't know this. Uh, I just saw her with a bandana tied around her knee. And I was like, is this, should I ask about that? Is that a fashion statement? What if that's for like an injury? What if I'm going to be insensitive? I was like 14. I had no, I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> and that I finally, like, after getting to know her for a while, would notice that she would do that when we would get ready or whatever, that, like, she would just, to cover up the hole, she would put the bandana around it. I thought it looked pretty neat, in hindsight. Cool way around it. <laughs> People that made Until Dawn and all those. Dark Pictures Anthology. That, that Dark Picture Anthology. That's why it sounded familiar. The new screenshots don't look very good. I don't even know if I saw them. Her pants were injured. Yeah. <laughs> like um ma'am can i ask about is it too is it too personal for me to ask about your whole bandana situation you know this is a game where i get to do my little collectible completionist feelings let's go now when that popped up just now that achievement did you guys see that big ugly who should we call it that big ugly blurred out thing on the left side and if you did how long was it there was it there for like a millisecond or was it there for like the entire time that achievement was on screen i'm just gonna keep going oh lord what's happening over here 
I like the way the snow looks. I've been watching NL play and the character models look like wax figures. Oh no. Unfortunate. Whoa. Really weird since Until Dawn is like, so uh oh. Oh. Since Until Dawn is like seven years old at this point and looks better. It doesn't look, it. wow, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Until Dawn looked pretty good, I will say. Okay, I don't remember how to shoot. Just gonna be honest. Probably used too much money paying Hayden. What's her face? Hayden Panettiere. Is she or is she's the one who's in the uh, L2 to aim, R2 to shoot. Okay, got it. Got it. Understood. Blew the budget on Hayden, didn't have anything left for Ashley Tisdale. Is Ashley Tisdale in that? Dude. Okay, well, I'm not going to reload because I'm going to waste all my ammo, but thank you for the reminder. Oh, Christ. Oh, whoops. Sorry. I love that for Ashley Tisdale. Good for her. Honestly, good for her. I just don't feel like it was a very good idea to, like, use your shoulder to do that when you, like, very clearly have a shoulder injury right now, but who am I to judge? Truly. Can we just keep going? Just up and up? Yeah, look at him go. Look at him go. You're doing amazing, sweetie. Okay. Don't know if that's what we wanted, but that's sure what happened. This dude is, like, straight dying. He is... We're we're having a very difficult time. This would appear to be. Where, where are we? What are we doing, buddy? Just go up. Yes, there we go. Gotta have the best treads on his shoes. Oof! Christ! Who needs ribs? Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, well, rip Nathan Drake. It was a good series up till now. And, uh, you know, I think that was a fair ending. Credits roll. Please give this man a break. He's doing his best. best. <laughs> and he froze to death. Oh, that wasn't real, buddy. I think Rocky heard that through my headphones. My headphones aren't even on that loud. Okay. We're just going to do a lower back touch. Okay. Am I telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. I missed the look on your face. She's sassy. Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, oh my God. You're not jealous. Rude. Let's not forget who walked out on whom after all. Lucky he didn't have the hand on the ass. I distinctly remember this being a very assful game. Oh, did we flash? Are we at a different flash forward? Are they? Do they have a relationship? What's happening here? Where's Elaine? Do you guys remember Elaine from the first one, the blonde lady? There's the ass touch for you. See? We see a lot of Chloe's butt. Like, for sure, for sure. We are having a lot of boob, boob shots. Butt shots. Both. It's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot. Creepy men love the lower back touch. I see you, Nathan. Together, this time. I see. I if, uh, that is the worst for me. If someone I don't know, if a man I don't know gives me that lower back touch, ugh, oh, I hate it. Do not touch me. It's a bad time. For sure. Who the fuck would do this with him? You don't think Nathan Drake is the epitome of uh, you know what all men should strive to be? Because that's certainly how they make him out to be. <laughs> Looks like his face is perpetually dirty. Yes, he definitely... He does not appear to smell good, I, I think. Even when he's not dying inside of a off-world train. Um, what, are we going this way? Can we even go this way? No, I don't think so. Damn. I feel bad for every wrong move I make. I'm like, oh, I'm fucking torturing this guy. Definitely creates a, a sense of urgency. Do you think we can reach that? We're gonna try. Oh, there he go. 
He's like always outside sweating, so I get it. No, that's true. He's he's earned the dirtiness. Just doesn't make it any any more appealing to me, but I'd support him. He's doing his best, probably. Anything behind us? Yeah, give me that little treasure. Boom. What do we get? I want to look at it. That was the first one we got. Neat. Just looks like an asshole to me. <laughs> He, he definitely does not appear to, to look like a, a nice guy. Yet another reason I would say Tom Holland was a weird casting choice. Because that young man looks so sweet. Too much maintenance to deal with. It's like if you asked him to go to the store, take eight hours, and he'd be under a burning car for some reason. <laughs> this man is just perpetually dirty and in danger. No treasures? No treasures. Moving on. Oh, boy. Yeah, I really like how the snow looks. I'm a big fan. It's looking good. I love these games. They just make me feel good. Mostly. <laughs> Fucking smash cut to me screaming in our first playthrough when I had to deal with those insane sewer zombie things, whatever the fuck those were. Very scary. Yeah, why are his sleeves rolled up? Sir, you're clearly on a mountain. It is clearly at least less than 32 degrees Fahrenheit because it's snowing. Ooh, Istanbul. All right, who we got? Harry and Chloe still. Okay, that's our gang right now, I guess. Put another shirt on and roll up those sleeves too. We have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax, all right? Relax. <laughs> Just let it go. <laughs> what a weenie. Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. Can't afford to Do these guys even like each other? Yeah, and we won't. Do any of the people in these games even like each other? It's always like banter. It's always like mildly aggressive slash passive aggressive banter. No one ever says anything nice to each other. It's all very witty action movie one-liners. It's always a- Now that's what I call a- Well, if I were you, I wouldn't- It's like not- <laughs> It's never anything actually constructive. We're like one degree of separation away from- Hate to see you go, but I'd love to watch you leave. <laughs> She got a different outfit on, but this shirt is exactly the same, a different color, and still has the bandana. She's got one look. <laughs> you know that Jenna Marbles song, Three Looks? She's got one look. And that's it. <laughs> what did I tell you? That passage there is gonna take us right under the music. You think I can't jump there? I can jump there. You think I won't? I will. I can jump that distance. Okay. This one here. Why do her swips her swips hey okay. Alright. Why do her hips sway like that? We can't even get close with those floodlights. I mean Sarah. Just That's just how women walk. I'm not sure if you're like very aware, the lights will be out. but clearly they've studied the female form. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough this dude has hair like Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> this dude wants what Phoenix Wright has. <laughs> See on the other side. See what I mean? With the cheese levels are just off the charts. See you on the other side, he says, breathily as he breathes. <laughs> uh, tree, tre, true treasure, treasure. Nothing over there. Breaking and entering. All right. There's something over here. Oh. Eh? Or does that just look like that? Nope, just looks like that. Oh, I'm so happy to be back into this world. I love this game. <laughs> yes, we love crime here. Can I just... Man, this is another game that is not exactly the same, but, ew, that makes your jeans all squidgy. <laughs> Hate that word. 
Um, this is the type of game that it's not exactly the same, but it's it's it makes me feel similarly to. Um, can I just go across, maybe? Um, maybe. When were those again? As I'm about to compliment the the playing style. Okay, maybe I'm just stupid. Do I, can I grab that one down there? Yes, we can. Uh, it's kind of like Hat in Time in the way that uh, <laughs> clearly two very similar games. Um, it's kind of like Hat in Time in the way that it makes me feel good because you can do more physically than you, you can do in most games. Like you can you can jump to most things, you can grab on most things. Oh, like you usually feel That's pretty right. successful about where you can explore somewhere. and what you can grab onto. <laughs> hey, now what do you bet that will take us right into the boiler room? Whoa. <laughs> there, we're in. And I really like that feeling. I really like being able to be like, yeah, and then jumping around the, grabbing on all the pipes on the walls, and you can jump up pretty high. Like not standing still, but you can grab onto a lot of ledges. I like it. It's a, it's just like a, a, a nice, controlled feeling. Thanks. Yeah, that camera swing was a little rough, huh? We get used to the weirdest things for games. Yeah, I find that really interesting. Do I have to just go straight up? Almost Why am I going in circles? Ugh, God. No oh, here we go. It's like our brains just kind of accept what is what. This is what we're doing now. This is how the, this is the rules of this world. It's almost like muscle memory. It's very satisfying when when all of those stars align. Uh, just going for it. Unless there's some stuff back around over there. What's in there? Yeah, just take that. <laughs> what now? Is that... Nope, that's just for my flashlight. All right, well, what do you, is it something over here? Man, this guy's ready for anything. Oh, there's some treasure. Take that. Well, what do you want from me? I don't even know where we're supposed to be going. I'm just fucking around. These are the times it's usually I gotta remember that you can climb on a lot of stuff. Usually it's like they want me to climb up something. Grab onto some sort of ledge or something. Oh, there's a ladder. Maybe I can... Can I move this over there? Can I just reach that? Just reach up there and grab the ladder. Oh, look at them go. Teamwork. Yeah. Good job, bud. Yeah, I dropped it down for you. Good enough. I have an incredible vertical, but however, poor aim. <laughs> All right, get up there. Keep going, buddy. All right. These this games make me want to mountain climb. They make me want to do parkour. 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 Well, we're not going this way. Why would you not just touch the steam? All right. Nobody say anything about when I died in Little up. Nightmares by touching this, the steam. See if you can find it then. Uh, yeah, mountain climbing sounds super fun. It sounds very scary, and I think I would be very nervous, nervous even. But I think if I did it right and it. stayed within my capabilities, it would be all right. I think it would work out. Even like rock climbing, like. At a, uh, whoa, at a, uh, at a facility looks kind of fun. Steven did that recently for a field trip with some of the kids and, uh, it, they looked really fun. Can't even climb the ladder to change the light bulb. Fuck mountain climbing. <laughs> yes, I agree. It's a uh, very ambitious of me to, uh, to even think that I have the capability to do that, but I could work up to it. You know? 
Okay. I could get some upper body strength going. Door, just around this corner. That's our point. Let's I literally this cannot even do one pull-up, but Tell it's going to be fine. Alright. I'm afraid someone's going to just pop out. There's a, definitely a camera over there. I thought this was Silent Hill for a second. Yeah, <laughs> she wouldn't play that. <laughs> absolutely not. You're absolutely correct. <laughs> oh, but she should play that. Oh, okay. Well, perhaps next year. Perhaps for the next spookiness. Silent Hill 2. All the Silent Hill games, I've watched a couple playthroughs of a couple different Silent Hill games. And uh, they looked really fun, and I really liked the story. They were pretty scary. <laughs> Do you really think Erica would willingly be playing Silent Hill at all? <laughs> Great question, Bestie. Not for me. For some people, but not for me. <laughs> I would, I would consider it. I would, I would highly consider it. What the key? Look, it's like a na the naughty dog symbol. It's funny. Um, what are we looking for? Can I open these cabinets or drawers? Oh, it's an alarm, not a camera. Interesting. Is that it? Not exactly what I was going for, but we can climb up there. There you go. So I always want to play spooky shit, but I need like four to eight business months to recover from even one spooky encounter. That's how I feel too. That seems like poor design, doesn't it? Literally got scared by my own shadow. It's fine. Not worried about it. Oh, you doing all right there, bud? Square. Damn. Get sneak attacked. We watched the thing and I was like, all right, I'm good until next October for my next spooky thing. Yeah. That's how I feel. I played more spooky games last month than I, I think I literally ever have in my entire life. The only scary game I've ever played is Until Dawn. I'm pretty sure. I can't think of any other ones. And even when I watch playthroughs of scary games, I have to like be I have to be doing something else. I can't just have that be what I'm focusing on. Where did he go? I wasn't listening. Cover transition. What could I be trans transitioning to? Ah, I see. Get him. Got him. Didn't look quite right, but we got him. Thank you. You're right. It is very in character for Drake to just not listen at all. Got it. This is a man who just does whatever he thinks is best. He doesn't give a shit about his quote unquote team. He just acts, no thinking or planning. Absolutely. This is a man of action. Oh my god, he just jumped right in there. They're gonna see us. Are they gonna turn around? Which one? 
Bazen o kadar canım sıkılıyor ki uyanık kalmakta zorluk çekiyorum. Uh, yeah, these guys suck for sure. You know, for my benefit, that's great. Uh, maybe they have bad eyesight just because they don't have insurance from their job. You're right. I need to, I need to be considering all options here. I cannot be victim blaming. Uh, I don't know, dude. Should I just fucking? Yeah. Okay. I figured. I was like, we don't want to be shooting guns right now. I think we just want to beat them up. Okay. Sorry about that. You'll be fine. 